What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you my Lego shopping mall and it includes a ton of details and features such as a car park, 10 shops, escalators and a fully furnished interior but before we get to those I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of my subscribers for all of your continued support and feedback it's really awesome that so many of you like my Lego creations so let's take a look at all of the details so around the front of the shopping mall you can see it's got a massive glass window and that's very open and there's lots of glass panes in it much like the rest of the design giving it a nice light and open look and next to the shopping mall you can see it's got a car park so you, the visitors can park next to it and then enjoy their shopping in the mall next door and another part uh, around the front are these two cafe areas and they're connected to the cafe inside and I'll show you that later and outside next to them you have a newspaper stand seller and you can see he's got a rack of newspapers and he's offering one at the moment so again we'll look at the car park in a bit more detail in a bit later but as you can see since we're around the front we might as well see the working car park barrier and you can see that this just lifts up and the minifigure can purchase their ticket and enter inside after the barrier has opened and that's just a cool entrance to the car park and the top of that glass window you can see there's a very cool view inside the shopping mall and you can see the escalators and the balcony inside and of course you can open both doors to see all of the details inside okay so just before we look at the details inside let's take a look at the roof of the shopping mall and you can see I created this using a whole bunch of hinge pieces some flags and a lot of white one by one long bricks and this creates a really cool roof design that doesn't use any glass windows since I'd already used up most of my Lego glass windows in the build itself but it still looks very cool and provides a nice open sort of design and as we pan across the roof you can see a little bit inside but of course there'll be plenty more views get a better look at all of the details inside okay so we'll start off by looking at the shops themselves inside the shopping mall and as you can see Round the side, I've left this side open, so it's a little bit easier to see all of the shops, on this side at least. And you can see there's a huge variety of different stores and shops. So taking a look at the shops, we have the sports shop. And here you can see on the wall, there's a couple of tennis rackets. It has some tennis balls hanging up. You can see the store owner behind the counter. And if we go around to the other side of the store, you can see that it includes a little basket for some basketballs and some footballs just near the window there. And you can see a surfboard and a snowboard for the more extreme sports. As this sports store caters to all sports. And you can see the escalator just behind there. Next is the DIY store. And you can see this is packed full of details. And on the left wall, you have a uh, couple of tools and a toolbox and a little hose pipe in the corner there and you have a counter with just some barrels of miscellaneous tools and equipment and you can see some shelves attached on the sides there and now we have the music store and you can see that this has a lot of instruments including a couple of electric guitars on the wall and a trumpet a microphone on the little stand there and a couple of maracas and some more microphones in the basket in the middle of the store then you have a violin in the case next to the counter and of course a piano since no music store would be complete without one and you can see it's got two doors as the entrance so the next door on the ground floor or the first floor is the cafe and you can see it's got a nice little bar area and that's complete with some flowers and some wine glasses and general food equipment and it's got a couple of waiters and waitresses 
serving a customer. And you can see there's a doorway to get to the outside sections. And those are the same ones you saw at the start of the video. Now the last store on the first floor is a little supermarket. And you can see it's got some, some signs indicating the brand of the supermarket. And this store spans a space of two stores. And that's why there's only uh, five stores on the ground floor instead of six, even though there's six units. And you can see inside, it's got a whole ton of food and vegetables and they're arranged in baskets and shelves across the store. And then in the second unit, you have a Lego checkout counter. And I've made a tutorial how to build this ages ago. So you can check that out if you want to build your own Lego supermarket checkout. As you can see around the front, you have a shopper and a shopping trolley. Now on the top floor, the first shop you have is the furniture and home store. And you can see this is a nice, bright and open store. And on the right wall, you have a grandfather clock and some cabinets and some lamps. And in the middle, we have the counter. And then on the other side, you have some electronic equipment, such as television and a radio. And you can see the store owner at work on the till. Next to that, you have the jewellery store. And this is a very detailed store and includes lots of features. So on the wall you have some paintings and on the counter, which is the main part of the store, you have all of the jewellery. And most of it is hidden underneath the counter, so it's protected from any potential thieves. And you can see that there you have a couple of little golden and bronze statues and some pocket watches and pendants and necklaces. And you can see the jewellery store owner behind the till. And next to that you have the clothes store. And this is a simple store, but every shopping centre or shopping mall, if you're in America, has to have one. And you can see it's got some socks hanging up on the wall. It's got a couple of t-shirts folded on one of the display tables and a handbag on the other. And at the front you can see a couple of store mannequins demonstrating the clothes available in the store. This next unit isn't actually a store, this is the entrance from the car park to the mall. And you can see it's got a little vending machine in the corner, but it's a bit tricky to see since the glass is tinted. But you can still see there's a vending machine there and a couple of cardboard boxes ready to be packaged into one of the many stores. And here you can see the entrance that connects the car park and the shopping mall. And this is connected to the stairs that can reach each level of the car park. Next you have the Lego store. And of course in the Lego shopping mall you have to have a Lego store. And I built a Lego store mock on its own a little while ago. I included several features from that in this. Such as the pick a brick wall behind it and a couple of Lego posters. And they're printed bricks. But at the front you can see a couple of display Lego models and the pick a brick wall at the back, obviously. And on the side you can see some sets with some posters. And these are just some promotional bricks I got ages ago. And that completes the Lego store very nicely. And the last store on the top floor is the comic book and video game store. You can see it's got a space logo at the front and it, it's got uh, quite a few details inside just a generally bright colour scheme. And you can see on the left wall you have a comic and on the display stand you have the video games console. This is actually a custom brick and I'll link where I got that from uh, in the description below. And then of course at the back you have the owner at his counter. He's got a mug and a till with him. And in the corner there you have a little lava lamp I thought that's pretty cool and nice addition to the video game and comic book store. So now we've looked at all of the stores inside the mall. We'll just take a look at a few of the details that I forgot to show you. And here you can see a mall cop standing guard in case there's any trouble. And you can see how the escalators connect to the top as well. And again you can see the glass balcony view. 
and that looks really cool with all the other stores. So here you can see the fronts of the other stores that you might not have seen. And they include the clothes shop, the jewellery store and the furniture and home store. You can see the mannequins in front of the clothes store. A couple of diamonds and some precious stones in front of the jewellery store. And of course the furniture and some customers in front of the home store. And you can see the security camera recording anything that might be happening within the mall. Now on the ground floor you have the music store, the DIY store and the sports store. And they all have their own logos and decorations letting you know what type of stores they are. So overall it's a nice variety and mixture of different stores in this shopping center. And you can just see a bird's eye view of some of the other shops. Around the back of the shopping mall and the car park you can see that it's quite plain compared to the front but it's still very detailed and effective. And you can see if we zoom in onto the shopping mall you can get a really cool view of the inside and again you can see the balconies, the plant pot seats in the middle and six shops on each floor with three on each side and you can see just a really nice overview of the interior of the main shopping mall. You can see on one end there's some escalators and on the other some plant pots and you can see that I've made the escalators out of a couple of Lego conveyor belt pieces and I've angled them slightly with some Technic bricks underneath but they're nicely hidden away under those plates you see on the side and you can see you can move the escalator slightly and maybe I might consider adding some power functions to it so you can move the escalators but moving on you can see that there's a couple of plant pots seats and you can see a grandpa minifigure seated there and he's having a little rest and if you want a tutorial on how to make those plant pot seats don't forget to let me know in the comments below but around there other areas of the shopping mall you can see it's filled with busy customers and minifigures okay so there's one more large feature to look at and that's the car park and as you can see around the front I've shown you the entrance but you can see a bit more of that hot rod that's entering the car park and I'll make a separate video about this hot rod and the yellow three-wheeler I've made up on top of the car park in a little bit so don't you worry if you want to see a bit more of the cars but you can see the ramps that lead up to the car park you can see the spaces and there's plenty of space and it's very accessible for most Lego cars and of course you can see the stairs around the back and you can see how they connect to the rest of the mall and the car park and that's pretty cool So on top of the car park, you can just have another look at the pay machine, just there. And you can see some parking spaces filled with a yellow three-wheeler and some police motorbikes. And then round the back of the car park, you can see the ramp leading up to the first and third, second floors. And you can see the stairs lead up to each of the floors. And again, a bit more of the back of the shopping mall. So that was my Lego shopping mall creation. And I hope you enjoyed it. And once again, a big thank you to all of my subscribers and fans for all of the support. Since it's a really big motivation for me to make more Lego videos and creations. And as always, I'll see you all next time. And thanks for watching.